Her story has been in the headlines for a few years now. That's after celebrities like LeBron James and Kim Kardashian took an interest in her case, and you know her, Centoya Brown. We're talking about Centoya Brown, who's now married Centoya Brown Long, who was just 16 years old when she shot and killed a man who paid her for sex. Brown was sentenced to life in prison. Many called it a miscarriage of justice. And after several crime documentaries, the courts took another look, freeing Brown last year after 15 years. Years behind bar. Now, since then, she has gotten married to one of my good friends who's from the Houston area, and she has a new book out and a movie soon to come. We had a chance to speak with her and her husband, Jay Long. So, Satoya, you're approaching one year of freedom. How does that feel to you? It feels great. Um, it's gone by really fast, and you know, just blessed to be here, blessed to be free. When you got word that you would be released, did you ever see light at the end of the tunnel? I did, I did. You know, I had to keep holding on to the hope that, you know, there was gonna be a day that I would walk free. Um, Jamie was a big encouragement in keeping me hopeful and seeing that light. And now you have a, a, a totally different life with my good friend Jamie there. <laughs> what is married life for you? It's like? beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Um, I really get to live each day with my best friend. Jay, a lot of people didn't even know she was married mm -hmm. uh, initially. Now they do. So how did you guys meet? Uh, man, just I came across a story uh, on YouTube a while back. And uh, and I wrote her. And, I mean, that's, the rest is history, man. Uh -huh. so, pretty much. And so when she, found, when she was finally released, what was that like for you being her husband? Man, it was great. I mean... Like I say, we best friends, man. So, you know, it was, it was good. My best friend home. So let's start life together. Uh-huh. And how's that life been for you so far? Oh, it's been great. She's spoiled, man. It's been, <laughs> it's been great. I see the matching necklaces there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, you have decided to release a book. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that book. So I wrote a book called Free Centoya, My Search for Redemption in the American Prison System because I felt like it was important to really share my story. When I was going through what I was going through, I didn't see really any narratives that matched my own experiences. And I wanted to be sure to put it in writing so someone else who's going through what I have went through can kind of see that same light at the end of the tunnel. Uh -huh. And for those who are, are, are facing what you're facing, have they reached out to you? Have they asked for your help, your assistance? Yes, um, we've gotten a lot of a lot of people who come out to hear me speak, I speak all across the country in different schools, um, for different organizations, and they really speak to the fact that, you know, hearing what you went through, that speaks to me and my own experiences. And it's so refreshing to hear that from someone else um, and to see that, you know, there is, there is another side to this thing if you just hold on and, and have faith. Did you ever envision yourself becoming an activist? Because that's what you are now. Well, I just like to, think that I'm just someone who wakes up every day and asks the Lord, you know, what do you want me to do today? Let me be a vessel for you. Um, and that's that's how I picture myself. That's how I wanted to be. So here I am just doing it. And of course, going through all of that, remembering the life that you had, are you also trying to maybe reach out to young girls who may be on the wrong path? Absolutely. My husband and I, we have a nonprofit organization, um, the JFAM Foundation that you know, we do that work where we reach out to, to people who not only are young people um, who may be at risk for being injustice involved, um, but also people who are currently incarcerated um, and young women and young men who may be victims of trafficking. And Jay, are you proud of your wife? Oh, <laughs> of course, of course. And has she blossomed into something more than you expected when she came out? or she's right on course with what you believe she could be? Well, my expectations were already high for her, but she surprises me pretty much every day. Smart as a whip, and she know how to work an iPhone better than I do. <laughs> she know how to work technology better than I do, so she, there's nothing that you can put in front of her that she can't figure out, so very proud of her. And Satoya, what do you think you missed out on spending so many years behind bars? I mean, there's always things that you miss um, for me. The big thing that I missed was family, you know, having that interaction with my family, actually being a part of the family on a day-to-day -day basis. But there's so many things that I did gain from being in that situation. Um, 
I got closer to God and what more can you ask for? And of course, a happy couple is back at home in Tennessee tonight and there is a movie coming out that 50 cents will be producing as well.